a seven practice that can help you or that, that can make a difference in your attainment or operations of excellence is understanding, the pursuit of understanding, the deliberate attraction to knowledge and information. You know, in Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 27, the Bible puts it this way. He that hath knowledge, spirit his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. A man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Because it, it, it's very simple. The more you know, the more you understand how things work. And it will be folly, it will be crazy to know how things work and do things less than that way. Because what you know affects what you do. How you do things is a function of what you know. So the more you understand, the better you perform, the better you operate. So that means the more you gain understanding in the practice of what you pursue, the better your manifestations or your workings become. So understanding enhances your ability to become more excellent. In the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 2, the Bible speaks of Daniel. Daniel says, you know, in the first year of his reign, Daniel says, I, Daniel, understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books. That is to say, in the place of understanding, there must be a deliberate pursuit of knowledge in order to be able to operate the concept and the spirit of excellence. The eighth and the final principle or practice that can help cultivate, you know, and position you towards excellence is the concept of reward, the attraction for reward. Every time you are somebody that is excellent, you discover that rewards always come to you. The Bible talks about Daniel, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 48. Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him over the ruler of the entire province of, of Babylon and the chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Why? Rewards have a way of justifying excellence, but guess what? Also promoting the pursuit of excellence. So you reward yourself, you are, rewards come to you, as a way of justifying the sacrifice and the commitment to the design of excellence. On a final note, in the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 19, the Bible speaks about Daniel, and I want to end on this. And the king communed with them, and among all of them there was none found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore they stood before the king. I want to believe God. That in your pursuit in this season of your life, that you will begin to doctor and influence everything about your life with the spirit of excellence. And I guarantee you that as long as you pursue excellence, life cannot put you down. You will always be found among the best amongst your peers. God bless you until I come your way next week.